what is up y'all it's your girl malia and welcome back to my channel if you are a new subscriber please make sure you like comment and subscribe because we are lit over here and if you are returning what is up y'all thank you for keeping it down for the girl and today i am just going to get into my silk press routine so if you want to see that please make sure you stick around i'm gonna show y'all how y'all can get this luxurious bouncy flowy you know silk press you know because we be doing it for the girls so if you want to see how i do my silk press please make sure you stick by and yeah let's get right on into it all right y'all so the first step to doing my silk presses is of course my diy protein treatment in this treatment i use egg avocado mayonnaise honey oils and also conditioner to thicken it up the first day i should have said what's wrong in the first place i don't cause you always taking it the wrong way you won't listen you're too busy playing 2k so once you get that all mixed up you're gonna let this sit in your hair for about 15 minutes i've always been down but you still sleep and even though i said it now you should have been pee. i feel it after I let that sit in my hair for about 15 minutes, I then go in and wash it. I wash my hair three times, but you should at least wash your hair two times. You don't have to wash it three times if you don't want to. And then I pat dry the excess water, and then I go in and part it into my four sections. All right, Charles, so once I finish sectioning my hair, I go in with my Tresemme heat protectant, and then I just spray that all over my hair. And after I spray it, I'm going to go in with my Ghetto Dollar Tree brush, girl, because it's broke. And I just start by, it's already pretty much detangled because I detangled it in the shower, but I just go ahead and go through it, make sure it's double detangled. Then I go in with my ragtail comb just to make sure I got all them little kinka bugs out and that way my blow dryer comb can glide through it. The next step after I finish detangling is going in with a small section and pre-drawing my roots. Then I add my ion comb that I get from Sally's and I just go in and put it on my GVP Pro blow dryer and I just blow dry my hair through. Just turn down your avenue. I had to, but I'm mad at you. Always say I got to add it to it all. Yeah, that's you, you exactly. I had to ask you if you had a few, cause you always say I got to add it to it all. Why you talking to me like you be like, why you always want to be right? Oh, I just need the time that you can't find. I just need to know that it's still mine. And the way that you can't say my name don't seem right But I know when to go and to stop at the green light Oh, I just turned, just turned on your avenue I had to, but I'm mad at you yeah. You always say I got an attitude, oh All right, y'all, so now that my roots are pre-stretched, we're gonna go in with our ceramic GVP flat iron that I also got from Sally's. Yes, girl, ceramic. Don't be trying to straighten your hair and think you're gonna get bone straight hair with a $19.99 flat iron from Walmart. It's not gonna happen. So now then I just take that same exact heat protectant and I just spray that in the section that I decide to go with first. I don't know why I always start on the right side when I flat iron my hair. I don't know if anybody else has that problem where they have a preference that they start on. But yeah. So our first task is to tackle them kitchens, girl. We we gotta start there. Because you don't wanna be putting your hair in no ponytail thinking you're doing a slick bun in in the back is peekabooing. No ma'am. So that's the first thing we're gonna do. All right, and right here, girl, we're gonna get we're gonna get a little close and personal. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom y'all in so y'all can see my scalp 
and see exactly how close I'm getting. And as you can kind of see, like I take my fingers and kind of feel my root a little bit to see if it is getting straight. Also, try to only go through your hair about two times so that way you don't get super heat damage. Okay, so right here, y'all gonna see me do my little happy dance because I was almost done doing my hair. It was halfway through with the back part. <laughs> I had so much more to go, but it's the confidence. It's the confidence. All right, girls, so we back to getting close and personal, but it's okay. I'm not going to keep y'all here. I just want to show y'all how I get around my ear part and how close I get when I'm doing, you know, my little, my edges. <laughs> See, I told y'all y'all was not going to stay up my nose forever. But anyways, um, on average, it takes me a total of maybe two and a half, three hours to do my whole entire hair. But that's just because I have really thick hair. And I have to do it in sections when I wash it, when I do my protein treatment, when I blow dry it, when I flat iron it. It's just a lot, girl. That's why I, when I have a silk press, it stays in my hair. Don't judge me. This this might be a little TMI, but it stays in my hair for about two, almost three weeks because I just, I don't have time. I don't have time. I'm a college student, okay? Don't nobody be having time to wash, blow dry, and straighten their hair every two weeks. Just, just it's unrealistic, okay? Plus, ain't nobody about to be having burnt toast edges. Like, no. Who child? Two and a half slash three hours later and we are finally done. But I later on got this stupid idea to clip my ends because I was not paying my girl down the street $20 just to clip my ends. Like they weren't even, they weren't that bad. And don't come for my little technique that I use. I do not have hair scissors. So the closest thing I could think of was my eyebrow scissors that I used to cut my hair. So I decided to use those. And it's going to look like I'm not cutting anything off. But I promise you some came off. I just did not want to butcher my hair. And we are finally done. Girl, look at that flow. Don't judge my ends. I did go and get them trimmed later and paid the $20, but it's okay. Um, I think I did a better job than when I tried to use my little brother's, you know, school scissors, which was not a very good idea, but I think I did a better job this time. Um, the very last thing that I do is I do add a little, a little bit of oil in my hair after just to, you know, rejuvenate it and bring it back to life. And it also keeps the flyaways down without me having to put no hairspray on it. So this is the final results. I hope you guys enjoy. Y'all see that flow. Look at that. 
um, yes, she did that thing. And I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all. Uh,